In New York City, Howard Cosell told you that Muhammad Ali is with us. Indeed, he is. I said earlier there is a serious side to this man. I saw it last night when he accepted the award for the Athlete of the Decade at the American Cancer Society dinner here in New York. He spoke of a trip coming up very shortly to Russia. Muhammad Ali, that must be a great trip. That must be a highlight in your life. This is, I think, the first time uh, American sportsman has been honored such. Um, we're going to Moscow for about 12 days as a guest of Brezhnev himself. And we are to speak it to their Congress, whatever you call it, and <clears throat> have dinner with the leader, and also probably box and challenge a few amateurs that they don't turn professional. And we're going to about four different cities in Russia. You will be speaking to the Presidium itself. Yeah, that's right, the Presidium. Aren't you concerned about maybe being drug into political things? Well, I'm really conscious of that. I understand Mr. Carter, and, um, and they're having a few hot words, and I don't want to start no bums to fly in, and I don't want to get caught over and can't get home. So I'd rather just stay on things like sports or whatever. I have nothing to say that can get me in trouble there are here because I must return. Well, maybe we can get you in trouble. Uh, of course, we're going to be covering your trip on Wide World of Sports. You'll see it June the 24th if you want to take that trip in with Muhammad because he is a trip altogether. Larry Holmes, Kenny Norton, coming up. How do you I see just it? saw Larry Holmes talking. Did you know I was one, if the people don't know someone tell them, boxers never did talk until I started. You couldn't get them to say, oh, da, 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 da. everybody's talking, everybody's doing interviews. All of the stuff that is stolen from me rope a doping and add new things to the game and oh but i think uh about this fight let me get off i think holmes will win the fight because he's 10 years younger so he's determined he's hungry and he's got nothing to lose and i think norton is a little too old he stays 32 but probably if that is so i can get by at 36 because i'm extra great but for tim 32 is old and i predict that uh, we'll see if I'm right. I predict this boy, Larry Holmes, will upset him probably on a split decision. Well, Might be uh, close. Let's ask you a question, Ali. You are 36 years old. Uh, we know as athletes that is an age when things begin to tire. It's hard to come back. But don't one look minute like it. Look at me. Look Would at you me. continue fighting after the Spinks fight? Well, we're not going to make a statement because I've retired twice. I'm retired the next day. It destroys your credibility to keep saying things and don't do it. I just worry about Spinks now. I'm not saying who will fight next. I'm not saying I'm going to retire, not retire. Let me get Spinks first and then make a statement. I don't want to. That would be another first, though, the first time a champion has ever won the heavyweight crown three, three times. Three times. And now only Floyd Patterson won it twice. Johansson beat him. He just got the next year. I won it for Liston, had a few setbacks, whatever. Ten years later, be foreman. Now I'm going to get it back again. And not only that, just not just being champion, but being intelligent. Look at these guys trying to talk. They can't talk. I mean, look at their faces. Where they look. look at my face and my skin and my hair and my features. <laughs> you are a piece of work. You are pretty, too. I mean, you're not as <laughs> and you're also you bigger look. than me. What are you going to do different in this fight? I'm not going to do nothing but dance. Dance and move and dance and don't give way around. Get my weight down to about 210 and not over 215 and dance and realize this is it. I got to go out the runner, break history and do it for three times and whoop this man and get him out of the way because that amateur has no right in the same ring with me. I made a mistake, I took him lightly, didn't get in shape like home, like our young did tonight, mm -hmm. but I will return. And I'm leaving, I'm tired of talking, I'm getting hot, I got to go and watch these two ducks. What? Imitators of me, and what are you going to, to do? do my thing. In your speech last night, you said you've always remembered where you came from. Yes. Are you going to go back the way you trained earlier in your life when you didn't have all these outside commitments? I'm going well, to do. I'm going to do worse. Russia, I'm, can you get I'm, down? I'm, I'm going to do worse. I'm going to. I'm going to chop trees. I'm going to run up and down hills in my dirty Pennsylvania camp. I'm going to resist my ice cream, my cake, my donuts, my. Ice, my, my pancakes, things that I love, and just kill myself. I ain't got for three months. We got the best time in the year coming around. What this. is your weight right now? Right now, I'm about 227. So you need to get rid of 15 pounds in three months. I will do it easy. All I got to do, I got Spinks' picture right in the front of my bed, right over my shower, right over my training gymnasium, and looking with his two teeth out, looking down like that. And I look at him every day. I cannot let him. That man win me because he is too ugly to represent the crown. The champion of the world should be intelligent, tall. Look, look, look at me and you. Look at the camera. Look, uh, man, man, this would be my show if I had the right connection and complexion to get the protection. It's your show anyway. <laughs> You've already taken it over.
Thank you there, Frank. I'm going now, but I'm kind of shy. One more question you could ask. How would you, you say you think Holmes will beat Kenny Norton. How would you, uh, how would you advise a Kenny Norton? Say you were his manager. How would you advise him to fight a, a Larry Holmes? Well, I understand tonight? he's watching TV now, and I don't want to tell him because he's a smart aleck. Now I'm cocky he's a tough, smart because I'm, 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 I'm a cocky guy. I'm boastful and I'm conceited acting because it makes money. And people know I'm not like that, but he really is. He walks around with his muscles out in his shirt and talking all big and bad. And, and so I don't want him to hear no advice on how he can win. I'm, I don't know who's going to win. I don't, I'm not well, can you give Larry Holmes some advice how to fight Kenny Norton? He knows. He's watching also. He imitates me always. Just keep imitating me, boy. Muhammad, we thank you for coming over. I we love really your do. show. I admire your style, but your pay was so cheap, I won't see you for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, boy. See you, <laughs> see you man. <laughs> Bye, you Muhammad smart. Ali, one of the real rare cats. The Great time, champion, athlete of the, the decade. Time, We're now about tomorrow, Go coming up on Wide Let's World of Sports. Game. Muhammad Let's won't go. be with us, but we'll have a very interesting show coming your way. Watch and listen. Here it is.